Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to uh, give you your message for the 21st, 1221. Happy Winter Solstice. Um, this is for all signs, but it may not resonate with you. Um, I did, I did um, do a. I saw an owl today, and I posted that that uh, video. If you wanted to watch it, an owl is a symbol of transformation, death. In rebirth, okay? So it's also a symbol of, uh, it's the highest intuitive wisdom. I got within 10 feet of this baby. Anyway, um, the main message that I get is that this is a time of transformation. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. It will only bring you more pain if you fight this transformation. And it's really funny because in all my other, my last segment, I had this little owl over here. Okay, I had the little owl over here. This morning, I decided to move the owl. For some reason, before I did the signals, singles segments, I removed the owl. I just, I don't know why. And um, that was this morning. And at like 2 p.m. I saw him the first time and then I saw him the and then I saw him outside at 2 p.m. the first time and then I saw him again um, about uh, 3 3.30 I saw him face to face and so you'll get to see that video if you watch it um, but it's funny that I took him out of the segment today this morning apparently I wasn't supposed to but then again I, I, I was because it's the end it's the end. This is this is the this is the end. Something is coming to an end. Twelve twenty one. What do we have for twelve twenty one? Dear God, angel spirits and universe, what do we have for twelve twenty one? Wish fulfillment. Woohoo. Something's going to happen fast. It's, it's like they're not even going to think. It's just, it's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Your wish is my command. Something that you have been wishing for, something that you have been praying for. Woo! Love that. Mmm. But something is going to be released as well. That makes a lot of sense with that owl. Something is going to be released. It's been too heavy. It's been too burdensome. This guy can't even see where he's going. He's going to trip. He's going to fall. He's going to get hurt. Right here. And it looks as though he can't carry it anymore. This guy can't carry it anymore. It's become overwhelming. He's been holding on. He may, he may have been holding on for financial reasons, you know, holding on to a situation just for the money, just for who knows what reason. But it looks as though, you know, action is finally going to be taken. You know, the next card is the Ten of Cups. This guy, he's sick of this. I'm sick of this. All I want is my happily ever after. I don't want all these burdens. I don't want all this baggage. I don't want all this turmoil. I don't want all these bumps in the road. I don't want it anymore. I want my Ten of Cups. I want my wish fulfillment. I want my happiness. And it's time for me to take action. It's time for me to begin my new life. Fuck the money. He'd been holding on to a situation, maybe it was a job, or it was a family, you know, a, I shouldn't say family, the home, staying with, staying with the wrong person, who knows what it is. Staying in a situation just for the financial aspects of it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Giving up. He's given up. He's surrendered. This guy has surrendered. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender to my pride. I surrender to my ego. All I want, ego. All I want is happiness. All I want is joy. All I want is wish fulfillment. And he's going to get exactly what he wants. Mm. 
Wow. Ooh. Oh my goodness. He's delayed it to death. He's delayed it. This has been delayed for quite some time, but there's no more delay. The delay is over. It's over. Somebody has been holding on from transformation, holding on, resisting change because of financial reasons. They've delayed. They've delayed their own they've delayed their own wish fulfillment. They've delayed their own happily ever after. And now and now it's like no, all I, all I want is my new life. All I want is my new beginning. All I want is stability. All I want is love. All I because this is the queen of love. I mean, the empress. She is love. She is love. She is um, <laughs> unconditional love, and that's what that like this person is in search of. Unconditional love. Somebody is letting go of the old thoughts that. It's all about money. It's all about this. It's all about that and not love. It's the, that's, you know, mm -mm. somebody is wanting their happily ever after for real. And that's where they're headed. They're going to allow this, this ending in search for happily ever after. So I feel as though there is a completion of one relationship that is going to cause a some sort of reward somebody is going to receive a reward for not resisting for allowing for taking action for choosing love over money that's what this is somebody is changing their view okay this person's been waiting and wishing and wishing and praying for wish fulfillment and praying and praying and praying by hanging on to something that didn't serve them but still praying anyway you know and the universe heard those prayers and the universe says okay i'm gonna bring you this is like the magician he's gonna i'm gonna bring you what you wish for but it may not be what you thought and this person is surrendering to the to to the to the universe and as this person surrenders to the universe, he receives some sort of reward. Somebody is taking very fast action. And because they are taking action, they're not thinking about it anymore. It's like, you know what? I'm done thinking about it. I'm taking action. They are receiving a gift. Somebody is receiving some sort of gift. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be a new relationship. I do. I think it's going to be a new commitment, something stable, something solid. But it's only after they drop, they drop, they make a conscious change to drop something that was overwhelming to them. Somebody is releasing. Death is released. Endings bring new beginnings. So we have a completion here. Somebody is completing one cycle of their lives and it was a big one. There, because with the death card, it is. Somebody is completing something and they're starting a new life. I mean, you can't, I mean, that's what this is. This is death and this is birth. So we have death and rebirth here. This is exactly what's going on. So today is the day of death and, and rebirth. That's all there is to it. I mean, I can't, I can't pretend that it's not. That's what it is. So somebody, and it is a cause to celebration. You know, a cause to celebrate. There's going to be some sort of celebration for uh, somebody surrendering. There's somebody is going to surrender. They're going to let go of what they've held on to, and they're going to receive. There's going to be some sort of celebration because of it. Either this person celebrates or whatever. Yep, change of change of course. Somebody is is taking action. No doubt about it. It's like they're not. They're, it's like the universe is closing one chapter and starting another but you're allowing it you're allowing it and that's what you're supposed to do you're allowing this transformation somebody is no longer fighting this change and because they aren't they are absolutely positively going to receive wish fulfillment a reward a reward it's like a miracle you are going to receive something much 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 better for surrendering for listening for allowing for <laughs> Letting go of what you thought 
was going to get you somewhere. So yeah, we have a change of course, a big one. Destiny. Destined change of course. The wheel is spinning and, and it's removing things that no longer serve you and heading you towards things that do. Happiness, extreme bliss. Somebody is going to receive some sort of absolute rebirth. There's a rebirth here. No doubt about it. I mean, it's beautiful. It's major. Major change is on the horizon. Growth. Healing. Newness. Beauty. Somebody's seeing the light. You got Taurus here. You see that Empress? This is Taurus. This is Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Scorpio. Could be any signs involved. Everybody, okay? Doesn't matter. I'm just putting that out there. Somebody has lacked the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower to let go of something egotistical. The lion is a symbol of pride and ego, unfortunately, and that's a big, big head, okay? Somebody has, has stayed in a situation that was driven by greed. I'm sorry, but that's what this is. But now they've had some sort of transition with the death card. There's been a transition. That this is not what I want. I have wasted my time holding on to this overwhelming situation that doesn't provide me any wish fulfillment, any happiness. All it provides me is money, but that's it. And if it ain't money, it's something... Uh, Financial, you know, it could be the roof. It could be something that you can touch, you know. And now it's like, you know what? I don't want this anymore. I don't, I don't want to fight for this. I don't want to do this anymore. Somebody has been indecisive for too long and it's like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this. Too heavy. So yeah, so there's a there's a major completion here, a major ending. One one chapter of your life is ending, and it's a it's a big chapter. It's not just a little chapter, it's a big chapter. One phase of your life is ending and a new one is beginning, and it is leading you towards something more bright, more beautiful, more uh, abundant than where you've been. There's going to be a huge amount of happiness here. A huge amount. It's like the light is going to be bright. Bright, bright, bright. The future is bright. But in order for somebody to get that wish fulfillment, they have to drop something. And I feel like this is what's happening. This, this transformation, this transition that is happening on the 21st is... Removing what no longer serves you. And it could be painful. It could be painful. But there's going to be a rebirth direct, directly after. Directly. It's going to happen. The wheel's just going to spin. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to propel you right into a more healthy situation. Quickly. So, yeah, there's, there's a transformation happening, a release. And you may not have even been prepared for this because it's like not prepared. You may not have been prepared. Maybe, maybe you're not prepared for this. Maybe you're not prepared to let this go, but perhaps there's something that happens that forces you to let go.
Now, you gotta see what's mirroring each other. These are mirroring each other. Death, celebration. With endings, bring new beginnings. Let your friends help you. This is a time to celebrate. It's a time to be happy. It's a time to uh, live. So yeah, we have a we have an ending. We have an ending. We have a we have an ending. This is one chapter ending in a new chapter beginning. Something that is leading you down a new path towards wish fulfillment in extreme bliss. You're going to receive a reward for dealing with this pain that you have endured. You know what the reward is? A new life. You're about to start in a new direction. One card. Okay. Oh boy, this is exactly what it is, too. They do this all the time. You know, they do. I gotta, I gotta put these out here like this because it's pretty prominent here. We got death and rebirth all over in this reading. Death and rebirth. That's what this is. Something is ending and something new is beginning. Don't fight it. Do not fight it. Now is not the time to fight it. Surrender. Surrender to this change. Surrender to this transformation. Surrender to this transition. This is happening to clear out what no longer serves you so that you can receive the reward, the wish fulfillment that you genuinely need and desire and that you are meant to have in your life. Impasse. Reflect, reflect and redirect your energy. Turning back isn't necessarily a failure. Sometimes it's the wisest thing you can do. If there's an area in your life where there's an impasse, the universe is telling you to use this as a time to reflect and redirect your energy in another way. Wisdom is knowing when to back down, turn around, and let it go. Oh my God, I can't make this shit up. Wisdom, right here, my people. Wisdom, right here. Wisdom is knowing when to back down, turn around, then let it go. <laughs> there are times in life to break through barriers, and there are times to change direction. This is change direction, change direction. There is an area in your life regarding relationships, business, finances, health, or your life path, or all of the above that needs to be evaluated. Perhaps a new route is needed. If you reach an impasse in life, instead of pro protesting that it's unfair or unwarranted, change your course. Remember I said surrender and then change your course? I can't make this shit up. You already know that I can't. Remember I said uh, surrender and this is change your course? That's just, just, that's just what I read. <sighs> if you reach an impasse in life, instead of protesting that it's unfair or un unwarrant un <laughs> unwarranted, change your course. This is change your course. Do it quickly and easily. Quickly. Remember we talked about quickly already. Instead of focusing on what's not working, focus on what can work and what steps are needed to create a different outcome. This is a sign of a sage. The wise one, <laughs> the wise one, views an obstacle as if it's impassable. That would be me. He immediately steps back and goes a different way. 
therein dwells the sage's success. Whatever the obstacle in your life, you have learned what you needed to learn. Now back away and choose a different path. The time is now to head in that new direction, to surrender to what is. Release, let go, and begin again. God bless. Good luck.